Oh, he's punching me back. Oh, oh, oh. I gotta cover the kill. Boom! It's chopping time, boys. I'm your host, Get Good Fox, and the Call to Arms DLC is out for MechWarrior 5. This is season four of MechWarrior 5, and I am in instant action. We are in the cockpit, right? There's the hatchet right there. We are in the cockpit of a brand new Hatchetman exclusive mech to the DLC. What's the cockpit look like? A little cramp feeling? Oh, there's the big AC-10. Oh, yeah, I should talk about this mech. So this 45-ton mech is... Uh, yeah, it's jump jets. Um, jump jets, I don't, I'm not a big fan of a mech where I... They're probably gonna go. 45 tons, 64 kilometers top speed. It's got an AC-10, as you can see right there. Got a pair of medium lasers. And then, of course, of course, it has the signature hatchet and a... Full, a full-sized mech hand. Mech hand does more than mech lower arm. And I, we're going to see how it works, because I brought three. Not one or two, or three, but four. No, wait, three. Four hatchetmen are going to be crashing into the enemy. We're going to see how this goes. But let me actually get the combat, because this is not a fast mech. And we've got contact. What do we got here? Got ourselves a vehicle. So the AC-10 should be pretty handy for cleaning up these crappy enemies. A pr pretty good everyday weapon in general. Get chopped! Or get stepped on. I can't. I don't know if I stepped on him or if I chopped him. Let's see if I can finish him off. Kind of would be nice if the AC-10 took out those tanks in one hit, but what can you do? Got a battle mech and a turret. Let me knock this turret out. Oh, really? I didn't finish? I'll just... Take it out with that. All right, let's get on these mechs. Wow, I'm already taking a bit of heat here. Oh, man, I bet that's because... Th that's right, the, the Hatchetman is not an especially well-armored mech. Let me try and take this guy's feet out. All right, he's out. Let's get on the Enforcer. Oh, this is the new map, by the way. The Rubelite Desert. See all the big chunks of red crystals everywhere? I chose an instant action because I don't know how good this mech is going to be, and I did not want to get owned. Like, yeah, didn't want to get owned. And have to, like, pay for a bunch of repairs. Uh, so this mech is just as fast as me, so I'm not able to get into melee combat. Okay, he's toast. Um, I'm kind of hoping we've got a nice meteor target to, like, deploy the... Oh, that was a great shot right there. There we go. And we go to the base. Hmm, how effective... So this is a medium mech. I can't crack can, can I chop? Okay. Oh, that's not too bad. Uh, we're breaking in. That's decent firepower. Yeah, see, like an AC-10 and the medium laser weren't enough. How about this? That's not bad. Like, it, it crashes through the walls. The walls are, you know, usually a bit more resilient. Where are you, pesky helicopter? Have lasers. Okay, I was kind of hoping to actually encounter a mech that I could chop. That's what. Okay, so that's one of the problems with the Hatchetman. Hatchetman isn't especially quick, and by not being especially quick, it does mean that this mech has. Um, it, it can be troublesome to like get in the combat, especially since it is a lighter mech. It's not on the. It's not on that heavy side, meaning it wouldn't be surprising if you're fighting mechs that are maybe a little bit faster than you. Maybe just a wee bit fast. I'm hoping reinforcements arrive, and then I could squish them. That would be disappointing, otherwise. There we go. Got something. A Kintaro. All right. Uh, unfortunately, it's faster than me, so I, I don't know how I'm going to... I don't know how effective it is going to be to chop it, but let, let, me get, let me try to get in on it. I'm not going to attack it with my guns, because I think it will ignore me. Here we go. How about some of this? Oh, he's punching me back. That is a risk with melee combat. Oh, I can't catch, I can't get up. Here we, here we go. You want some of this? How about some of that? It seems to be doing damage. I mean, obviously it's doing damage, but get, come back here, you coward. Wait, I know how to slow him down. Who? Huh. Oh, he's punching me back. Oh, oh, oh. I gotta cover the kill! Boom! Actually kind of satisfying. Not gonna lie. Oh, we need to demolish the base. 
Yeah, I can do that. Sure, I'll demolish this base for you. Not a big deal. Okay, maybe it's... Stupid antenna thing is harder than it looks. Really? Okay. Yeah, okay, so there we go. That is the debut of the brand new hatchetman. Um, first thoughts is that it is a little slow. Uh, that doesn't bother the hunchback because the hunchback had does not necessarily want to get into like point blank range. Oh, speak of the devil, it's a hunchback. Um, let's take him out, I guess. Ooh, this is gonna be painful. I got a center torso blowout. Come on, come on, you guys, give me a hand here. I can't be the center of attention against this guy. Okay, he doesn't see me. I'm gonna get right up behind him like this. Oh! Oh, how do you like that? Cut right through the armor there. No, you don't see me. I'm using I'm using the cover. I'm using it right here, it comes. Oh! Did I just cut right through his light laser pod? Get out of here! That was a nasty hit! Wait, there's a bunch of enemies getting here. My natural condemnation is to run away, but it, it's instant action, so... I'm coming in, I'm gonna chop him. Oh, man, he caught the AC-10 right to the chest. Now, let's get out of here. But my first reaction is, I'll save it for the, like, I'll save it for the diagnostics. Okay, so here are the post-game stats. Everything, the UI and everything's different. 890 damage? Actually, everyone didn't do that bad. I, I, I don't know if that's bad for me, the player, or a good sign that maybe the AI is a little better. You know, this is a chance for them to improve the AI. Um, let's go ahead, though, and let me show you what this mech is looking like. So, uh, look right here. 208 armor. That is very thin. That is one of the big weaknesses. Like, uh, being... A 45 ton mech with only 208 armor, very, very thin. First thing we got, we've got to, we've got to buff the armor up. 272, that is not going to cut it. Um, wh what's the best we can do, first off? That, that is the best we can do. Okay, revert. Okay, so that is going to max out. Can it go any higher? Okay, so that is maximum armor, 318. 318 is serviceable. The hatchet does 40 damage. Wow, that does hit. That is some damn 40 damage. Okay, okay, okay. That's a lot. That's two AC-20 hits from a single. Okay, okay, they might be. Okay, compare that to the hand actuator, 15 damage. Wait. This is a slot? I could put a- I could put- Wah! I can do a wield! Wait, wait. Can I do a wield hatchets? Where's medium? Medium hatchet. Why is it a large weapon? Oh, this is a large slot, I see. Okay. Okay, hold on a second. Is there, is there only one medium weapon in the... In... What do I look like? Do I like, punch people? What? What? That's insane! Anyways, um... Let's move on to the campaign. And here we are. Welcome to an import. This is an import of my playthrough. Uh, on my main progression, but I've copied the data over in order to get into the new Call to Arms DLC. So, I've got an absolute truck ton of mechs in here. Like, if we go to Assault, we've got plenty of mechs. So that means no matter what they throw at us, no matter what kind of mission it is, we're gonna be able to get through it, and we're gonna be able to see what these new mechs look like. So this is the new mission. You can tell because there's an axe right here. It says, those in need from the Liren Rebels. Greetings, Commander. You may call us the independent people of Sky. We represent a number of units under the employ of Steiner, currently assigned to the front line against House Kurita. In 3023, House Steiner shocked the entire Inner Sphere with the creation of its first new mech design in generations, the Hatchetman. 
The Archon said that this new mech would help bolster our country's mech regiments with a new line mech, but in reality, the mech has mostly been distributed to forces loyal to the Archon and those warmongering pigs in the Federated Suns, doing nothing for those of us in the Isle of Skye as our home defenses are slowly whittled down every day by raiders from the Draconis Combine. We've learned that the Archon and Defiance Industries have delivered an entire company of new hatchetman mechs to the 19th Arcturan Guards, a formerly prestigious unit before they incurred major losses at the hands of House Kurita decades ago. While this may sound like a legitimate reason to refit the unit with new mechs, I assure you it is not. In the decades since their collapse, the 19th has become a dumping ground for the spoiled sons and daughters of the Commonwealth's wealthiest families entering the LCAF, which is the Lyran Commonwealth Armed Forces, riding high on the coattails of the 19th storied pass to further elevate their own social status while turning the unit itself into their own state-sponsored frat house. As the first brand new mech designed in over a century, the Hatchetman has become a hot commodity that the Archon is willing to throw these petulant brats in order to appease their wealthy industrialist parents, rather than supporting those of us on the front lines who are in a desperate need of new fighting equipment to fight our actual enemies. I wish we had a better way of doing this, but we are left with no more options. We want your unit to disable as many of these Hatchetmen as possible so that we may take possession of them. We can't overtly move against our own countrymen, but we're in desperate need of those mechs to defend ourselves from Koreedan aggression. So we're seeking your aid in capturing and acquiring these hatchetmen and putting them in the hands of people who truly need them. Who will you? Well, sure, I'll help you. If I get some new stuff, I'll help. So where where is the quest at? Is this it? Right here? Yep, this sounds like it. So, um, wow, everything looks so different. That's crazy. Um, what is... Oh... Whoa. Whoa. Everything is so different. Wow. Oh. I like. I like it. Okay, let's let's go. We're going to head over there and then we're going to do this crazy quest because I I don't know. That's what that's what we're going to do. That's our main objective is to try out this quest. Man, if the meaty if the hatchet does 40 damage, how much damage does like the biggest one do? This is gonna be wild. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, I know I know how to play the game. Oh. Yeah. Tonnage is 160. Okay, this is an easier one. We've learned that a lance of the Arcturian Guards is often sent to garrison a number of small installations close to their primary base of operations. While we don't know the exact garrison rotation of the lands, you should be able to find them at one of the marked locations. Destroy each and every one of the main targets and we'll swoop in and salvage them. Okay. Oh. 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 Everything is so different. How many shares do I get? What does it mean? How, how much do I know I get? What does that mean? I don't know. I, I, I don't know what it means. Potential payout. Okay, uh, I'll do it. Okay, so... Um, fortunately, I have a bunch of smaller mechs. I could use the Firestarter. This is my Firestarter that is designed to work with a missile company. So I don't know if we'll be able to fit everybody in. I could try, though. Oh, so we get less money. Oh, yeah, we can go over the tonnage now, but we get less money. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to fit everyone in. That's fine. It's not that well. Yeah, we can't fit everybody in. Let's just go like this. Okay, so this is going to be our... Let's get some people in here. Um, what? What? Get, get some people in here. Doesn't matter who. Let's get in there. Okay, so... um. Locate and kill the targets? Hey, I'm really good at locating and killing things. I did mention this mech was designed to work with an LRM team, and that's because this mech has a tag on it. And I figured it would make sense because a tag is a weapon that you need to have a constant beam on, and well, you know, it's fine with machine guns and flamers. Hatchetman's signature hatchet is devastating, of course. It's more than capable of splitting a mech in two after a handful of blows. That's close enough. 
Well, we now know that the weakness of the hatchetman is getting shot. That is the hatchetman's main thing. Is that if it gets shot with guns, it, it is very it's very sad face when it gets shot with guns. I feel like these trees are different. I don't recognize this. Did they redo the, like more of the terrain without me knowing? I have no idea. But we're coming up on the first objective. As I said, you're gonna see there that. Where's the laser at? Oh, that is so much faster. Yeah, there's no way this. There's no way that this melee attack isn't faster. Oh, it's so much faster. The animation is so different. Now, what I can do is start designating, and uh, we do have some mechs that have missiles. And like I said, since this, remember, this mech is designed to just constantly shoot at things, it means that it should be very effective with attack. At least that's the theory. I've been using this mech actually in maximum difficulty missions. Oh, this guy got squished. That's the end of him. I love the fire starter. I actually think, you know, originally I thought the fire starter was one of the best mechs in kind of the early game, but I'm actually starting to think that the fire starter is just one of the best mechs in the game, period. Like, it's just, it, I, I can't describe how good just this, it, 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 this is the basic one too. This is the FS9H. This is the standard one. And it's just so, so good. Even at the maximum level, even against the salt mechs, it's just so, so good. We got another battle mech detected. Looks like it is a, let me get the whole lance on him. Is he down already? What got him? How did he die so quickly? I mean, I know he's a spider, but he got, he got just absolutely toasted. He got like hosed. Did they bump up the AI? New battle mech detected. There's the hatchetman. There's multiple, at, there's, we got three hatchetmen. And you can see, look at the range on this. It's pretty good range, I think you'll agree. I need to get like a lock on one of them. Here we go. Now I'm way too fast. There's no, you'll never be able to use that hatchet on me. I'm just way too fast. This mech is out of here. I'm gonna try to mark him. Trying to get him. Let me tell you, it makes a difference too. Like those missiles, they you could visibly tell that they are more accurate. I know I'm getting close to those hatchetmen, but I'm not worried about it. I'm way too fast. I also know that now that I know they do 40 damage, that's a lot of damage. This guy is toast. Like, these mechs just do not have the armor. They're so fragile that I actually think they're worth targeting over a lot of the other enemies. Our machine guns and flamers are just tearing into these guys. This guy's toast. Uh oh, don't want to crash. Uh oh, don't don't get chopped by him. That's a bad idea. Don't get chopped by him. That's the big no no. What do you mean? Wait till there's more. Well, I want to. My my hunger for like random acts of violence is not satisfied yet. There's an assassin here. Let me order specifically the hunchback to attack. Here, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna mark him. Oh, so our hunchback is too close, unfortunately. I wish our hunchback would stay farther back so we could get him with the missiles. Here we go. I'm just gonna tag him like this. Like, let's see the missiles get him. Come on, shoot missiles at him. You know you want to. Here we go. Like, I feel like the missiles are way more accurate with the tag system on it. I mean, some people are like, well, no, duh, isn't that what it's supposed to do? But the thing, this is the AI we're talking about. We're talking about the Mech Warrior AI. The AI has always been kind of on the wonky side. So it's like, the fact that you can get... Here, here, try it on this guy. Come on, bomb him out. Come on, make me proud, AI. Yeah, there we go. 
But with a full missile team, especially because this mech is so much faster, I find that it actually works pretty decently. Anyways, let's go see what our rewards for our troubles are. Okay, so we get 12 salvage shares, so I, we put three in, so 12 divided by three is four, so we got four, I'll take the assassin. Why not? I don't see, oh, 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 oh. I want weapons, I, I, I want all of these. I don't know how good those are, but I want them. I want them right now. Oh, it counts down instead of upward. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. We we got it. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. It's it's fine. It's all good. View transmission. Those in need part two. Good work, Commander. We were able to recover all four of the hatchetmen that your lance destroyed, but their battle damage is significant. In order to get them operational, we need to collect a large supply of replacement parts. Yeah, well, makes sense. Uh, we've identified a series of locations where the Arcturian guards have stored replacement actuators, myomer bundles, and weapon systems for the hatchetmen. We'll need to conduct an objective raid to find and recover these supplies in order to repair the lance of hatchetmen you've captured for us. We'll highlight the locations in which the supplies should be located, but it'll be up to you and your lance to identify and recover any materials on site. All further tactical information has been forwarded over to Rihanna, good hunting commander. Okay. Makes sense. All right, so part two is those in need. We salvage the action mans. We need a lot of components to restore in order to get them combat ready. We mark the facilities where the Arcturian guards are keeping the shipments. Destroy the facilities and recover the stuff. Sure, we, I can do that. No, no problem. I want more salvage. We we need to get all of the stuff right now. Plus, I mean, I got 42 million sea bills. Like we don't we don't really need. I mean, I mean, I'm not going to turn money down, but you know. I think you get what I'm saying. Let's try a different mech out. Um, I don't know. I want to use... Why is this one special? Oh, it's the heavy rifle variant. Uh, I'm going to use... I'm, let's switch it up a little bit. I'm going to use the, uh, the Wolfhound with the chem laser. Let's do it! Okay, so this is the new map known as the Hoodoo Desert. I think it looks awesome. I, I, it makes it... Is it the wind that carved this out? Or was I'm guessing it's the wind, but it, it kind of looks like a alien monument valley. Are those like tornadoes and stuff? That's crazy. Oh, oh, there's, okay. There's the hatchetmans already. So I am using the wolfhound. This is a pretty solid mech. I got it equipped with a. Here, let me let me go ahead and get that. Right there. I got it equipped with um, a large chem laser to help keep the heat under control because this mech does have a tendency to get a little bit hot, but it's all good. Really awesome mech though. I do I do like this mech quite a bit. It's got quite it it stings. It, it's got a bit of a sting to it with the with the what do you call it the quadruple small lasers. Runs very cool. The standard one comes with a large laser and um, medium lasers, but it overheats very easily. I, th I like this one. It's much more sustainable. I think sustainability is really important, too, in this game because many of the fights you're in, they last a long time, and there's a plenty of time to overheat, and there's often not a lot of time to cool down. We got to clean these fools up. Something that this mech does very nicely. The quadruple small lasers, very good at cutting down large quantities of small vehicles due to the rapid fire rate. And the little bit of range provided by the um, the uh, large chem laser, it's it's just such a great balance. It's beautiful, very beautiful. It's gr a great mech, even though it's not a combine mech. You know, you know, like, I, I can admire the mechs of my rival factions. Okay, so what we gotta do is hold this position, and that bar at, up top is gonna fill up, and that's how we're gonna find out where the supplies are to capture. Show me... Armory salad, I guess? Here's the first target. Bingo. We got a battle mech. Oh, it's another hatchetman. Now, despite the, um, we got to be aware of that AC-10. 
We do need to respect that. Unfortunately, this is a great location for the Hatchetman, considering it's really tight combat. Like, we either get sniped out by the AC-10, or we can get chopped up close, so we gotta be a little more cautious here. There we go. That's- oh, God! Crumpling up and wigging out. I see they haven't fixed that glitch. Not that I- I, I kind of like that glitch. It's a harmless glitch. It's funny. I like it. That's the end of you. Let's toast these guys. See this? It's just- it's just- what a beautiful combo. Those small lasers just cutting through these guys at range. Just like that. Yeah, don't underestimate small lasers. I think some people might be sleeping on the small laser. Okay, let me see if I can break in here. Okay, time to search for the cargo. I don't think any of these are explosive. I think it's okay to go through them. It's funny, like, look how much better I'm doing with, like, this simple 35-ton mech. Yeah, it's like, speed is really good in this game. That's one thing I gotta say. Speed is king in MechWarrior 5. Alright, so where is the... right over there. Let's smash and grab... I like the new music. What is that over there? A turret? They keep talking about ammo. Um, we, we're looking for battle mech parts. We're not looking for ammo. Swat Mr. Nosy down over there. I know some people are hesitant to use chem lasers because they're like, wait, isn't the whole point of a laser to have ammo? I mean, for me, the whole point of a laser is to be accurate and also be small and compact and easy to wield. Like, I don't have a problem with ammo. I, lo I, I love ammo-based weapons anyways, so I don't have a problem with it at all. What I like is that the large chem laser, which is one of my favorite weapons in the game now, is, it's just so, it just, it's accurate, it does good damage, and it's light, and it doesn't generate a lot of heat. Oh, speaking of those Arcturan guards, I think it's chopping time, well, maybe not chopping time, but it's shooting time. Let's hit him, boys! Oh, yeah. These guys are in such big tr Oh, God! He's gonna crash into me! So, this mech is basically designed to engage these kinds of lighter mechs. It's, it's very effective at defeating, at defeating other light mechs, and that's because it's just, one, it's pretty fast, and it's also very accurate. Accurate. It's got the speed to keep up with most mechs, and then it's got the excellent accuracy that you would expect from a laser and that's a deadly combination against these mechs oh did i see them sneak that punch in that's the end of his leg let's finish him off oh and there's some cargo right here might as well grab it oh nosy turret i'm just trying to like murder all your buddies like your programmers or something and steal your stuff like i don't see why you gotta act like i don't see why you gotta be so like upset about things like maybe you should just chill out and let me like murder you and take all your stuff and here we are let's go take a look at what happened uh we get a wait 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 melee weapons yes please i will take all of the melee weapons i don't know if they're good or bad but i want them that's all that matters to me is that i want them okay 
Okay, so not only were you able to acquire the supplies in excess of what we initially estimated, but you've also eliminated more of the hatchetmen for us to salvage with the surplus. My superiors authorized me to provide you with our first refurbished hatchetmen as a bonus for your exemplary performance. You'll need it for your next assignment. Awesome. So we got the hatchetmen, the 3F, that's the standard variant, and we got a medium hatchet. Okay. Uh, wait. Oh. Mm. This is different. I, I can put somebody away. Um, um, let's put the trebuchet away. How do I, how do, I do it? Sending set this mech to cold storage? Okay. Okay, did that work? Yeah, it did. Here, here is our hatchetman. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is paint it in my colors. Definitely want to do that. Um, there we go. Now, one thing I like about Karita colors is that the, sometimes they have these little hidden things on them that are really neat. Like, sometimes they hide, like, a kitty cat on it, or, like, a shrimp or a lobster. This one doesn't look quite as fancy, though. Okay, so what are we going to do with this mech? Um, I want to change it. We got to get these out of here. Bump up that armor. Um, no, no ammo in the center torso, please. Okay, so... Um, why don't we do a half ton of ammo? And I think we'll call it a day. I think I think this mech literally needs every... Oh! I didn't realize we were... Th okay, never mind. Full ammo. Uh, let's put it in here so that, like, it doesn't destroy the weapon as well. Also, it won't... It, it, if this torso goes, the, the hatchet goes, so that wouldn't be good. I could put another weapon on, that's right. Medium knuckles? Medium Knuckles does 20 damage. Interesting. None of them else are... None of the other ones are going to fit, though. So now we have Medium Knuckles... Oh, we're too heavy. Um, let's do half ammo. Half half a ton of ammo. There we go. 44... We're, we're like .07. What, that, that's good enough. It's it's fine. I, I want every piece of armor that this mech can get, though. Like, let's just go, let's go for it. We're, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Anyways, that's going to be enough for today's episode. We will continue the campaign from there, and we will get a chance to use the hatchetman, and hopefully my revision of it is, like, how much armor do you have, for example? Yeah, you've got, like, 232. Yeah, yeah, this armor should, like, that should be enough to, like, get it in the... It's comparable to the Hunchback, so hopefully that'll be enough to get it in there so it can actually do some damage. Well, you know, we'll see. We'll have to, I'll, I will have to evaluate how good those melee weapons are going to be. Anyways, let me know what you think down in the comment section. Subscribe for more MechWarrior 5 Call to Arms content. And of course, remember that you don't have to be good to get good.